it's very clear in the Bible that salvation is not by works. And we'll just show you a couple of verses there really quick. Knowing that a man, this is Galatians 2.16, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh uh, be justified. Uh, Ephesians 2.8 uh, Ephesians 2, 8 to 10. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. So very clear in the Bible, and we can turn to other scriptures, but we won't, you know, Romans 3, 28, therefore uh, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. So very, very clear in the Bible that salvation is by faith and it's not of works um, at all. But, you know, we see here in Ephesians 2 that there's nothing wrong with works, is there? You know, we are saved to do good works. You know, we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. So we're not against good works. Well, you know, good works... Are called good works for a reason because they're good they're works that are good they're things that we ought to do that god does command us to do but it's when somebody believes that you need works in order to be saved that's when it becomes heresy because we are saved by grace through faith and that not of works but god saved us to do good works um, we we he commands us to do good works but they are not a prerequisite to be saved and if somebody believes that they are a prerequisite that is when they are now preaching false doctrine they are now preaching heresy now as we read in second corinthians 11 you know because if satan wants to spread a false doctrine he wants to spread um work salvation the heresy of work salvation i mean he's not just going to come out and say it is he he's not just going to come out and say you know i believe in work salvation if somebody's going to preach a false doctrine if they're going to preach work salvation they're not just going to get up on a sunday morning and say i believe in work salvation because it's so obvious in the bible that it says it's not by works that that would be too obvious that would be too blatant so it's it's always going to come across subtle that's why the bible says um, that the servant the serpent beguiled eve through his subtlety so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that it is in Christ. So if false doctrine is going to creep into churches, it's going to creep in to what preachers are teaching and believing, it's going to come across a lot more subtly. And we're going to cover a couple of those this morning. Um, you know, that's why when you see gospel tracts that seem to be preaching salvation by faith, salva salvation by grace, these subtle forms of work salvation always appear at the end. Right? They always appear in, in one sentence near the end or they appear in the prayer. And it's funny that these, these gospel tracts that promote these subtle forms of work salvation, you don't hear anything in the gospel tract. You don't read anything in the gospel tract about making, for example, making Jesus the Lord of your life. But then yet they include that in the prayer at the end of the gospel tract. You know, now I, do, I do now accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Saviour. Well, if that's what you had to do in order to be saved, and that's what you had to confess to God, why didn't you explain any of that in the gospel tract? It's like they're trying to sneak it in at the end there, um, this, uh, this heresy of work salvation. 